Hey folks, this is just a very quick video of my first impressions of the newly released Orbex East Midlands Airport. Now you may find or realise that we are actually at Southampton. That's because I thought we could have a mini adventure and fly this beautiful bizjet, the Eclipse 550, from Southampton to East Midlands so we can really see it popping into view as we fly along. So let's get started. This is my all-time favourite Bizjet aircraft. It's got everything. It's completely VR compatible. The sounds, the way the systems work, uh, the GTN 750, which is all included into it. It's just a very nice, very beautiful to fly aircraft. So we're going to get going as quick as possible. Southampton is another Orbex airport that I have, and hopefully this video because obviously I am in VR, will just show how incredibly detailed, beautifully modelled this air airport is. So we have East Midlands, a direct two, and we'll get going. We will crack on to East Midlands Airport and I'll get back to you right before we have it in sight. So yeah guys, I am really genuinely really excited about this release particularly as East Midlands I don't know it just holds a special place in my heart really I've flown from there quite a few times and it's the nearest possibly Humberside but it's the nearest sort of international airport near me and I just wanted instead of basically loading up at East Midlands for the first time I wanted to fly to it I think it gives a bit more anticipation and a bit more excitement as you see it coming into view and you'll get my very first impression of it when we uh, get to it which will literally be in eight minutes time Okay guys, the airport is now coming into view. Okay, very, very first impressions guys. It saps performance dramatically. I've had to just turn all of my AA completely off in order to maintain a decent level of frame rate. So that's a bit disappointing. Also the ortho area, I was hoping for quite a high resolution area surrounding the airport. It doesn't, unless I've got it it's a very high possibility that I haven't got it set right in my library, but I'll do some further investigation. But it doesn't look like there's much of a high resolution area surrounding the airport. It does look absolutely gorgeous, of course. But yeah, I was expecting like around this area here as your sort of flying patterns and goodness knows what, you'd actually get a decent ortho resolution. But no matter, I do have my own ortho, so that is fine, but a little bit disappointing.
Remember guys, I've got everything maxed out here. Get a few stutters. Ryanair, Air Berlin, no easy jet. I'm guessing they can't license that. That's the huge cargo terminal. One of the most busiest in the world, apparently. Fly over there. All of the lorries at the back there, very nicely modelled. DHL building. That that does look fantastic. Very very nicely done. Once we land as well, we'll have a little bit of a walk around to see what everything looks like close up. That's the GA building there, terminal. I wonder if, because uh, I have been to East Midlands a few times, a couple of times as a sort of paying passenger, but also to meet my friend who used to work there um, for a company. And I wonder if their building is in model. See there, that, that bit also is very clear, but then they just have this sort of normal bit here, which is just, it's just disappointing in that regard, I think, to be honest. That looks amazing. That looks very nice. Took a screenshot there. All of this area is high res. This is high resolution here, you can tell straight away. Bit of a tennis court there. But I'm guessing, I mean, I've got a 1080 Ti card, and my 1080 Ti is 11 gigabytes of VRAM, and I bet it's using every single bit of RAM for this scenery. <laughs> There we have Donington Park, faithfully represented, very nice. We'll take a little flight over there. Can we see any cars racing around? I don't think so. At least the track itself is modelled very, very well. That, that does look amazing, wow. Yeah, that's excellent. Okay, right, so we will do a left downwind approach and land. Oh, wow. There is a lot of detail there, folks. But you're going to need a very, very powerful system to uh, run this in VR. I'm just about managing it. <laughs> I am recording as well, which does sap a few frames as always. But, uh, right. Flaps down, gear down, landing light is on. That should actually be on. It is now. <clears throat> I think they could have done a bit more with the road here. You know, they could have... Uh, made that a little bit more detailed. I'm pretty certain that there's no smoke going from those towers. Okay, we'll do a bit of a short base leg. And we'll swing around. Oh, big stutter, big stutter. Okay, flap selection, we have now got landing flaps selected. Should we do a touch and go folks, do you think? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, here look, here guys, look at that. That looks crap. <laughs> Doesn't look very good at all, what's that about? Oh, focus. <laughs> Concentrate. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Okay, once you've landed, 
it does you, you get a real feeling of of how large this airport is this is probably Texas's largest airport they've made to date I would say because I know Cardiff's pretty big Cardiff's also better on frames I wonder if there'll be some sort of patch I've just zoomed in there look and I've got a massive stutter there's the big tower that, that does look incredible very nice oh and you really feel the height now even more because of all the detail on the ground when you're flying off the runway like this and looking down in VR my goodness me you really feel that height I actually felt a bit of vertigo then <laughs> fantastic right should we put the lights down and see what that's like okay we are now almost completely pitch black we've got a little bit of sunlight and we've got the lights of the uh, nearby towns and we're going to turn for another landing and see what this looks like in the dark all those lights oh they do look incredible These buildings, yeah, they are lit up, but not as well. Three hundred, two hundred. See, some like custom signs would be quite good as well. One hundred, fifty, forty. How's that look, guys? What do you think? Oh, bit of a hard landing. I'm not really paying attention to landing like I normally would. Let's go outside. Right, we'll go back again to daytime. That'll do. And we'll do one more landing. We'll do a full stop landing. And we'll taxi out, or taxi in, rather. Okay. Performance is feeling good now. Let's see if we can make a somewhat decent landing this time. There we go, nice touchdown that time. So welcome to East Midlands Airport. It does look fantastic. When you're on the ground in VR, as I said, the first landing I did, it just looks amazing. Runway Texas, everything. Very, very nice indeed. I think because I'm running the Oculus Mirror and I'm recording and all that kind of stuff, I think when I'm gen generally flying, I'm not recording, but YouTube, I think I'll probably have a much better experience. Stutter, stutter, the Thomas Cook there, I've just noticed, but no, we are stuttering again. I don't know what's causing that, that's probably all those textures loading in. Oh my goodness, but now that we're here. Guys, I am back here. This is totally, it's surreal. If it wasn't for all the stuttering. Wow, that looks huge. I'm guessing that's what they mean by the smoke. Which is a nice touch, but I mean, the cooling towers are like a famous landmark or uh, East Midlands, I'm sure it wouldn't have taken that much just to put a bit of smoke effect on there. No 
those windmills are going a bit too quick. It's not that windy today. <laughs> Apparently, oh, that's one thing. Yes, I've just remembered on the feature set, feature list, that the smoke moves regarding um, in relation to the prevailing wind. And as you can see, that is correct because that's the runway we've just landed on into wind, and that's correct. That's very cool. I like that. And let's have a bit of a quick look around before this video becomes ridiculously long because I only want to make a very quick video showcasing this. Oh, I've got to say that that does look really great. They, the smoke, the way it's kind of moving with the wind, that looks very cool. Textures and all the writing you can see very well. That's spot on. I've been in one of those buses many times. I can vouch for their authenticity. I can... Might take a couple of screenshots here as well, while I'm at it. See, the actual static aircraft, they're not the most high quality you'd expect, but they're obviously under a polygon count. So they shouldn't be taking up too much resources. Oh, check this out. Oops. Can we go inside there? Ha, look at this, guys actually be inside of the, one of the terminals and these chairs. God, look at those textures on those airport vehicles. Very nice. Well, let's move along a little bit. Go over here near the control tower. Wow! Looking right up at that tower. I'm just loving looking around this scenery here. And hopefully you guys can get a bit of an idea of what this looks like. So much to see. Amazing. Oh, check this out, look, guys. Wow. <laughs> That's some sort of restaurant. I can't remember. I'm going to have to, like, have a little trip up to uh, East Midlands. Jury's in. A little bit fuzzy textures, but I guess you can't have everything. The performance is already pretty atrocious. I've got to say, the old Fiesta looked a lot better. Okay, now it's time to find the hangar where my friend used to work for a ordnance survey company called RVL. Uh, the fact that I'm following the same road that I did when I went there, and that was about two years ago, is testament to how realistic this air feel it is. There we are! I found it! Yeah, I actually... <laughs> that's amazing! I um, parked my motorcycle in this car park, I remember, and there is the RVL, RVL group. I'll go take a picture of that for him. <laughs> Brilliant! Now, I'm sure the aircraft won't be modelled, but Oh, that's amazing. That's very cool. I love how it's got all of the um, all of the companies and the brands. I don't know how the licensing the licensing for that sort of thing is done. Oh, I can actually go inside the hangar. Now, this was the hangar I went in, but it was full of aircraft. So, yeah, very cool. Okay, guys, so I probably should leave the video there because I could spend an entire week looking around this airport before I find every single little detail but yeah if you love the UK flying around the UK and particularly have a an affinity with East Midlands or you fly here a lot which I know probably a lot of you do I'd highly recommend this scenery although it is pretty poorly optimized at the moment understandable you know the level of detail is unsurpassed but uh, it's been great fun. I might do another little video from here. 
in the future. But uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.